Oh, yes, nothing like a bit of Russian bazooki music. Live from the Russia, the interim WBA Cruiserweight Championship, Denis Lebedev, he's the one that wears the sailor's vest. Hmm. Against Sean Cox, that's on Wednesday. Looking forward to it. And then on Thursday, from Bruno in the Czech Republic. Okay, Lucas Konegi against Salim Labi for the interim WBO light welterweight, light middleweight championship. Two good quality championship fights with undercards that will be mixed. I mean, you remember when we had Mark Tibbs in that time and there was a fight that came on on one of these shows and we couldn't believe it. It was so bad. And then the next time you see two brilliant fights. That's the way it works. Now, keep those Ali poems coming in. You remember the competition? It's for the gloves. We'll do a bit more on this later on. And it's quite simple. It's about the gloves. It's about a poem that Muhammad Ali would write if he were to be at his peak now and he had to face one or both of the Klitschko brothers okay uh, and it's not a wrestling thing this is not the return of the rock i wish i could do the rock's eyebrow i kind of like that it's kind of fun uh, so you can get those emails into me at bunts at boxnation.com or you can tweet them to me at big daddy bunts there are hundreds coming in they've been coming in non stop keep those coming up we'll, we'll get the picture out again a bit later on in the show and we'll have a look at it now during a period in the 90s and up to about 2007, there was a guy from North Dakota in America, okay? And for a 10-year period, he had 33-0 proper world title fights. Not loads and loads of IBO, WBU, or WBF. No, proper ones. Against a full list. Bobby Chairs, Tommy Hearns, Crawford Ashley. Hey, he was a good fighter in his day. Henry Mask, Jean-Marc Mormek. Tioza, Jones, Mikulczewski, Tate. You know what? There aren't any easy ones. Well, there's very few easy ones in this list of fights. 33-0 proper fights. It's a delight to welcome as the special guest on this edition of the Bunce Hour, Virgil Hill. Virgil. Yeah. Yeah, Virgil, thank, first of all, thanks so much for joining us. It's been fantastic trying to get you on. It's a delight to have you on. Virgil, do you sometimes look back on that career and think 30 world title fights? Even you must shake your head in respect at that figure. You know, it's kind of funny. When, when you're doing it, you don't know that uh, you know, you're fucked. But, but you know, when, that many title fights, you know. But when you look back on them and you just think it's year after year after year. Let me ask you this, Virgil. Which one of them gave you the most pleasure? Which one did Virgil Hill enjoy most? Which fight? I kind of think any of the ones that, you know, you win the, you win the title and defend the title, they're all kind of special in their own way. They're all special in their own way. I don't have a particular one that, you know, better than most, you know, they're... Whenever you retain the title or you win the title, it's kind of a special moment for yeah. you. Now, Virgil, which one was the hardest? Not necessarily one that you've lost, maybe one that you won, but which one would you classify as the hardest, the most difficult uh, title fight that Virgil Hill had? Uh, well, they're all a lot bit, you know, tough in, in their own right. Yeah, you know, I don't want to take away from uh, anybody that I had ever fought. Yeah. I mean, it's always a special moment, and you know, again, when you're, you know, when I was fighting light heavyweight, I was losing 35 pounds to make the weight. So, you know, it never was an easy thing, mm -hmm. you know, to try to make that weight, and, and then you know, fight the title fight right after that. So, they've all been pretty tough in their own right. They've all been pretty tough in their, in their own right. The lots of people have been tweeting into the show and emailing the show. Um, uh, Donnie Robb's written in and saying, asking you who, who was the tougher opponent, uh, Roy Jones or Tommy Hearns? I mean, that's a tough tough test to, to separate those two. <laughs> yeah, well, Roy was a lot younger, so uh, Roy, was pretty, Roy was tough. I mean, Roy was a different kind of fighter, you know, that I've ever faced. Um, but... Both of them similar in their in their mannerisms of trying to have ring generalship, you know, in the ring. You know that that in itself 
was a lot different. Now, there was that massive, massive win back in 1996. I remember it at the time when you went over to Germany to fight Henry Masca and came away with a win, came away with a split decision win. That was one that, that I, I think stands out in many ways because, you know, he was such an idol. He was such a hero in Germany. Was it intimidating, Virgil? No, not at all. I mean, he was an idol and a hero in Germany. Yeah. You know, that didn't mean anything to me. <laughs> uh, you know, boxing was relatively, I mean, because he was from East Germany. Of course. You know, he, he, you know when, the Iron, when the Iron Curtain came down, actually he became, you know, West German or whatever. But, yeah, uh, just German. You know, no, yeah. He, he, he just <laughs> became a German. <laughs> A-German. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, A-German now. Yeah. So, so, uh, uh, please forgive me. I hope I didn't insult anybody. No, but, um, listen, it, it, listen we, we go out in East Germany, or, or we go out in East Germany in delayed action, so I'll make sure that gets taken out. I don't want to embarrass you in case you ever return to East Germany, Virgil. <laughs> <laughs> Virgil, let me, let, me well, up, let, 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 let me ask you this, Virgil. What, what are you up to day to day? What's in Virgil Hill's life now, day to day? I've been training for seven months to make a comeback. Wow. Right? And, and is it going to happen? The of, it is going to happen, definitely. I want to fight, uh, I want to fight a couple of turn fights. I want to shot at the title, and I want to shot at uh, Bernard Hop. So, uh, what, at light heavy-ish, or sort of like just above light heavy? Not light heavy, a cruiser weight, but I'm pretty sure there could be a catch weight. So, and how old are you now, Virgil? How old are you now? I turned I turned forty eight in January. And, and the guy that I've got training me right now is a guy named Freddie Roach. I was Freddie Roach's first world champion. Yeah, yeah, I remember he is. And yeah, and uh, Freddie had me come down to assess me to see if you know I was a forty eight year old trying to make a comeback, or you know. If I could really, you know, if it's really something that I could do, in his opinion. And what and what has Freddie yeah. said? I've been here for three months. So Freddie, Freddie so Freddie every, believes uh, you can come back. Me. Pardon me. Freddie believes you can come back. Absolutely. So so when when might the first of the warm up fights take place, Virgil? Well, I I hope to have it in May. Like I said, I've been doing this since uh, September. Wow. Uh, my father passed in October, and I had, and that's what kind of gave, you know, got me started again. And so I've been doing this for almost seven months, just conditioning and training and getting myself physically fit to box. Now, Virgil, you know and I know that you can look good in the gym, you can feel good, you can do the bad work, the pad work, the sprints, the long distance runs. But do you think, Virgil, in your heart of hearts, that you'll be honest enough with yourself if you get in that ring and you think there's something missing to call a day? Will you be honest enough? Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. I would walk away right, right then and there. But if you know anything about Freddie Roach's gym, Freddie Roach's gym is kind of an old throwback. It gym. is. Yeah. where they do a lot of sparring. Now, I have not to say that I do a lot of sparring, but they do a lot of sparring. So they have a lot of high-class caliber athletes up there. So I'm in there competing. You know, if I get a black guy, I give a black guy. Wow. You, you know I what? I hope they're competing with them. You know what, Virgil? It's been a delight talking to you. Can you do me a favor? Can we speak to you after your first comeback fight? That would be great. Absolutely. Okay. Virgil, you've been honest. I can tell. I can sense it in your voice. Virgil Hill, thanks very much for your time this evening. <laughs> so there you heard it. Nice little exclusive there. Virgil Hill's coming back. Top man. That was absolutely brilliant. Now